Alright, everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. I had noticed in my last two streams that my, um, my microphone sound was a lot different than before, and I think I know why that is. A couple of you were commenting that the microphone was a lot quieter uh, to boot, but uh, my webcam actually has a built-in microphone, which I wasn't aware of, so even though I had it muted on stream, it was still set as a default... Um, as a default microphone, so hopefully it sounds like it is back to normal uh, at this point. Which I wasn't aware of, so even though I had it muted on stream, it was still... Uh, I mean, it sounds like it's back to normal as far as uh, I can hear from the stream. Hello, Alchemist. Thanks for tuning in, dude. Uh, for those of you who are in the stream, just don't forget to turn down your volume really quickly while we move over to the live scene, so I don't blow your eardrums out with this transition sound. And if anyone knows how to actually mute these transition sounds, uh, I would really appreciate it. I can't find any built-in mute button uh, for them, but... It's just so loud, like, it even destroys my ears, so... But here we are. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I do appreciate it, and I hope that the sounds are good. We're going to be playing as Pergamon, and I am bumping this down to hard, because I don't want to have three Total War campaigns uh, in a row that I have lost. Uh, the initial challenge is already hard, so I think having it on hard setting is good enough for me for now. Of course, we're Hellenic Culture. We've got a little blip about them here. Um, although a minor player up to that point, Pergamon came to prominence during Alexander's successor struggle for control of his fragmented empire. Its fortress was used by one of Alexander's generals, Lysimachus, to store the spoils of conquest. It was this plunder that allowed Pergamon to become independent after Lys uh, Lysic Lysimachus, I think is how you pronounce it, had died in the Battle of Corapedium, facing off against Cellulos, or Seleucus one of his former comrades in the service of Alexander. Afterward, it remained a protectorate of the Seleucids for a while, but gradually the influence of the Seleucid Empire declined too, enabling Pergamon to not only gain its full independence, but rich lands in the west of Asia Minor along it. Since then, it has taken its humble and recognized place as one of Alexander's successor kingdoms. While forged in battle, the kings of Pergamon follow a different path than the other successor kingdoms. Not... Uh, not weighed down by the burden of vast territories that are difficult to govern and to defend, Pergamon's kings have used their wealth to bring about a new golden age of culture and learning, building an impressive Acropolis and a temple to Athena, Pergamon's patron goddess. However, Pergamon is not a yet a kingdom in the truest sense, its leaders having so far declined the title out of the shame that the people of Pergamon still pay tribute to the barbaric Galatians who harass their neighbors. Interesting. If they truly want to build a new center of knowledge and learning, the soldiers of Pergamon must first take up the spear and the hoplon once more to rid themselves of all who would threaten their young but ambitious kingdom. So there we go. Got a cultural trait here. So Alexander's legacy, minus 30% resistance to foreign occupation, and exchange of traditions, which is plus 10% research rate for civic developments. And our faction trait is the pinnacle of Hellenism. So we've got uh, Diplomatic Bonus of Greek Factions, which is good. Benevolent Rulers, minus 10 Public Order. Penalties due to Foreign Cultures, uh, minus 10 Construction Costs. That's very good. And Manpower Shortage, plus 50% Integrity Penalty Suffered from Battle Captives. Okay, so we're going to have to be careful about our integrity. Well, let's go ahead and dive on in to this Pergamon campaign. Diego, hello. Thanks for tuning in, dude. King Drakos the Magnificent. Well, hello there. We meet again. Did you change your name from last night's stream? I swear it was something different. But the Drakos was there. Yes, I've got a nice pot of tea and a day off tomorrow. So, I'll be make this about a three... Three-ish, three and a half hour stream. Because uh, then I do have uh, some videos to record for tomorrow. But yes, so this is uh, the version 8 pack that I'm using right now. Uh, but there are still some bugs that are present. It is very much a work in progress, so just keep that in mind. But it's been 46 years since Pergamon won its independence from the Seleucids, or Seleucids. 46 years since the forces of Pergamon under the leadership of Atalas I held the Gauls at the doorstep, at the doorstep of their kingdom. 46 years of honor, of glory, of freedom. Very good. So here's a little bit about uh, the, the year 202 B.C., which is when it starts. 
And our mission issued is to hold the entirety of the province Hellas, which is this Hellas. Which one is that? Take a look at the provinces. Hellas. Oh, is that over here? Oh, they want us to go over here. Uh, I didn't really plan to go that direction, but I guess we could eventually. Uh, my plan for conquest, actually, is to move up uh, through Bithynia and uh, Pontus, up through the Caucasus. We've got uh, another kingdom over here. It's um, a, like a Bosporan kingdom, so we'll take this. Uh, so I'm thinking all of that. Then maybe we'll go down into Asia Minor, and then last we'll take out Ptolemy's possessions here. That's the plan, but uh, sometimes plans don't always come to fruition. How can I? Uh, let's let's uh, quickly, yeah, let's run over here just for now, because I uh, realistically uh, Bithynia's is, or Bithynia is going to be our first target. Your orders. So they have an eight-stack sitting inside the settlement, and I believe in ancient empires you get pretty solid garrisons. Yeah, they got a lot of spears here. I don't think it's walled. Yeah, they, it is a walled city. Okay. Ours is walled as well. Excellent. Rex4487, good evening. Hello, thanks for tuning in, dude. Yeah, entirety of Greece, says Johnny. Yeah, I, I hadn't really planned to go that direction, but um, I guess we can. Do we start at war with anyone here? Because the thing is, is that uh, the Greeks actually relatively like me, I think. So I didn't really plan to go after them as such. Although, I wonder if... Yeah, see, Macedon is in the province of Hellas, so we could sail over there. And deal with them. They're 14th strength, we're 13th strength. Uh, let's see if we can get some trade rights right off the bat here. Okay, so they won't take that. Uh, I'm going to have to go to war with these guys. Hopefully, yeah, they're already at war with Galatia, which is good. And I don't think Galatia likes me very much. They're actually quite weak. Uh, I have no interest in going to war with Rome, but are they at war with any... Greek factions. They are not. Okay, they're not gonna... Many people aren't gonna be interested, I guess. Okay, so we have to go to war with them. I just don't want to do that right now. I'd rather focus elsewhere. Nice. We got trade with them, which is good. Uh, for 300, I will agree to that. We'll get the money back. Already trading with uh, the Seleucids. So yeah, realistically, I want to go after these guys next. They only have one settlement to their name, so that's probably where we're going to focus. Uh, let's see, what, what can we build here? We've got a royal palace, which we can upgrade to the royal capital. Which gives us extra money. An extra 20 food, but we have more than enough food here with the fields, which is excellent. Punishment rate and cultural influence. 3240. So if we do that, we're making a good amount per turn, so we can go ahead and do that. Uh, it looks like we have a bit of a bug with the name of the ports here. But we will want to upgrade that for sure. Gives us extra piracy, but it will give us extra local commerce as well. I'm not sure if I need this building. This is one of the garrison buildings, because it uh, provides the ability to recruit those uh, Thurio Spears. So we'll build our army, and then we'll get rid of that. And then for here, we'll probably... Oh, yeah, the tech tree is already done, too. Nice. So we'll, we'll want to go over towards irrigated farms. We have a bonus to research right here. So if we actually go straight up through here, that's 13 turns. Yes, I think that's going to be a good shout. Change the name, but the name I usually use is Black Star, but I'm pranking my friend. Okay, fair enough. That Rome Total War music is the best. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's so nostalgic, eh? Did 2020 last short for you? Meaning time passed quickly during the last uh, year? Um, it was it was hit or miss. Uh, there, were, there were some months, like uh, the first six months, uh, passed really slowly. Uh, that was that was the roughest part of the year. The second the second part of the year was was okay. Uh, it was okay. So we'll want to get some archers. We'll want to get some cavalry. We do have Royal Ajima Swordsmen, which are awesome. Uh, but I've got a bunch of these Militia Spears. Now, they're all right, but I think these guys are better. You can see that they have a little bit better stamina. Uh, they have good stamina. These guys have, um, 
average. Yes, average stamina. Uh, but they all have uh, five peel, it looks like they can throw, so... Uh, I could only actually recruit two per turn, so we'll probably take a few turns here just kind of... Uh, building up our strength, and then we're going to go over here and siege. Or we'll declare war on them and maybe see if we can catch their army out in the field. I am a shadow. Uh, I don't think I can do anything uh, to his settlement or whatnot. So if we can come over here and maybe take a look at the Galatians, because we will want to go up and uh, take uh, Galatia as well. I remember when I did a Macadon campaign that this city here uh, was raised, and there was like a bug with the raising, and it just stayed like, desolate the entire campaign. So hopefully I'll be able to actually take that, because that's a good settlement there. Uh, where is this? Academia. Oh, yeah, so that's part of that province. So if we go there, then to Galatia, and then we're pretty much going to uh, war with Pontus at this point. Did I play Zardum's mod for Medieval 2? It's very good. Probably the best-looking mod of the game. Having a blast playing Hot Seat on it with two friends. Um, I have heard about that mod. I think I wanted to do a how-to install on that, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, but yeah, I will I will take a look at that uh, as soon as I can. But yeah, I have heard of that for sure. Uh, yeah, the Seleucids have some territory here that I kind of want, which is unfortunate. Is there anyone else that uh, I, I'm going to want to take out you, so I don't want to trade with you? Don't want to trade with you guys. Uh, trade, no. Yeah, because we don't have any uh, tradable goods, really. That's what we should build here uh, after we get rid of the garrison building, because we actually have marble here. So if we build the marble building right here, uh, we'll have 80 marble to, to trade. And it gives us a good amount of income as well, and cultural influence. And uh, we have a reduction minus 6% for temple buildings faction-wide. That's actually huge. Uh, but then at the same time, we're going to have to be careful about our public order problems, which will definitely come from that. Let's go ahead. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Uh, how's our... It's minus 6 per turn at the moment. Can reduce it like that. How, how much were we making from putting it up like that? Not very much, actually. And it would give us some extra growth early on. That's an extra 500, basically, but at the cost of 12 public order, that's not worth it. We'll just leave it there for now and see what happens. Oh, right, of course. Provincial governor. Uh, so we have this guy here. He's pretty much the only choice, so we'll pop him in. And here's our family tree. Shows all the dead there. Yeah, I'm glad they reminded me. So you need to seek a wife. You need to seek a wife. Um, can arrange marriage for you, but you need a bit more influence for that first. But yeah, he needs to. He needs to get some sons. And yes, edict, of course. Um. Extra tax rate, we get public order, income from culture and entertainment. That's kind of what we're focusing on. Recruitment cost, cost for land units, replenishment rate, and recruitment capacity. Let's put it on that while we build our army, and then we'll switch it over later on. Am I playing a Troy's mod or another Total War? Uh, this one that I'm playing right now, it's for Total War Attila. It's called the Ancient Empires mod. Tuzki says, hey, a Celtic, Pergamon it is. Yes, um, it was supposed to be Ptolemaic Egypt that I was going to play, but I was let know by the uh, by the modder that there was an issue uh, with some of their scripting, so I had to uh, make a different choice, which is fine. Uh, she's pretty good. Can I get uh, any more money out of them, though? Oh, that's that's all they have, eh? They'll give us a military alliance, too. Yeah, I don't want to get pulled into any wars that I don't want to be in, though. I wonder if I should sail over there and take Macadon while I can. Hmm. I'll accept that, though. That's good. Hmm...
Uh, no. Because I will go after you as well, probably, having Byzantium. I want to make a huge, bustling trade empire, basically, here. Changed it back to what I, what I usually use. What's the plan? Where do you want to conquer? So, basically, I plan to... Oh, there we go. They're going to take out uh, Macedon right now. Uh, but my plan is to kind of conquer all of the territory along the Black Sea. Uh, so that's like uh, Bithynia, Pontus, uh, any of the territories that are in the north of the Black Sea. And uh, then we'll focus on some of the Age of Minor. That's that's the plan. Uh, take her hand. Yes, she looks good. Rejection. Uh, that doesn't matter, though, because we already got a wife for him, right? Oh. Is this guy still alive? What? Oh, they wanted my daughter in exchange for this dude. Oh, to their emperor. I see. Okay, you need to try again then. Uh, I swear he was dead before, but... Uh, nobility here. It would be good if he could get married, but... Okay, so let's build up a little bit more. So we'll want... Um, having eight spears is probably enough, I think, because we do have the two swordsmen as well, so that'd be... Uh, 10, so if we got four archers, maybe five archers, and then four cavalry, I think that's what, what the plan will be. Yes, 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 good. Yeah, they're already building up uh, more units here, it looks like. Ah, it's going to be so hard to deal with. Uh, so are they headed over to Macadon, or are they, got, they thinking they're going to be able to take that out? Ooh, I doubt it. All that pikemen? I don't even have access to pikemen. Then again, they have a 17th stack. Because who are you guys? Oh, wait, did, did they take your territory? Are you guys... You don't have a territory anymore? Oh, yeah, they're a horde. Oh, so it looks like the Achaeans have already uh, taken them out. Okay. Uh, you guys I would be willing to trade with early on. Uh, trade, and give me some money. Thank you. And come on, Ptolemy. Yes, good. So that really secures my flank there. But he still doesn't want trade. But he should be relatively happy with that. Yeah, so basically if we zoom out here, so I'm going to hit Bithynia first, then we're going to go up to Galatia, down to Pontus, then across to uh, Trapezos, and then I'll probably sail across and take some of this territory as well, uh, and then we'll push down and take all of Asia Minor, then maybe move into Greece. So basically, this is the sh snapshot of the uh, Pergamon Empire that I want to create. So like, we're not going for a full map conquest or anything like that, because it just gets stale after a little while, playing so long. Uh, so I just try to keep things, uh, try to keep things new and fun for you guys. Mustache and pink pig hat really complement each other. <laughs> I know, it almost looks a little bit more ginger. Revolution Under Siege is a mod about the Russian Civil War. I don't know if you'd like to play that. Possibly. What total war is that for, uh, Diego? Beware the pikes. Not that the AI is very good with them. Still, uh, what diff am I playing? Oh, it's hard. Uh, I was like, diff. Uh, it's hard difficulty. Uh, I was doing very hard difficulty, but I was just getting getting pwned the last uh, few few live streams. So I would like actually like to complete a live stream here <laughs> before getting destroyed. Good. So we've got that built up. We're doing that all right. Uh, do we have this jacked up at all? I mean, we could we could jack it up for... I don't care about the public order issue very much. I just don't like that uh, negative growth, to be honest. Hey, Ebloxy. So basically going to make a Byzantine Empire. Kind of, yes. Yeah, I'm not going to like take out the Seleucids or the uh, Ptolemaic Egypt or anything like that. Basically from... Uh, this is a maybe, but for right now, my goal is to just basically make uh, almost like what the Pontic Empire was around the Black Sea. Huge trading income. Just kind of really focusing in on what Pergamon was, right? They were like, um, they made a lot of their money through learning, entertainment, trade, culture. So that's what I'm going for. Rhodes wants a military alliance. Uh, 
No. No military or defensive allies at the moment. Because they'll just drag me into wars I don't need to be in. Oh, this mod. It is the Ancient Empires mod for Total War Attila. And we're using uh, the... Excuse me, the new version 8 uh, campaign pack. So they're sieging over there. Yeah, because the Byzantine Empire held a lot down uh, towards, like, Judea. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> they held a lot of uh, ter uh, territory in Judea and then across North Africa. I don't plan to take uh, any of that, so. Yes, a Black Sea Empire. H hence the name <laughs> of the stream, the Black Sea Empire. <laughs> Ugh. Ally with Byzantium? No, I don't want to do that right now because I plan to take them out. Because I want Byzantium for myself. And my uh, king here is really... He's really having a tough time. And he doesn't even have enough influence anymore to uh, get married, so... Quest the privilege of company and other more experienced characters than me. I wonder if he can... No, he can't. That's unfortunate. Okay. Oh, there are fleets in this, too. I have to remember. I'm so used to playing 12-12 uh, uh, where there's not. A Macedonian is a separate culture. Really? Yeah, there's a lot of Eastern, which is a bit of an issue. Ah, we've got this guy over here. That's a bit of an annoyance. Okay, so let's get um, three... And then, yeah, four cav, I think, should be good. I mean, it's just melee cav, so I guess they're not the best, but it will be good to have something, at least. Uh, their army has disappeared. So where is that gone, I wonder? I would love if they actually came up here and attacked the Seleucids and took that, so that I didn't have to do that. But like I said, these territories here, these two here, I'm going to wait until very last to take them, because I'm not getting into a grindy... 200 turn war with uh, the other successor kingdoms. Quickly check diplomacy once more here. Am I def how am I defensive allies with them? I don't remember that. Okay, so we're trading with all of them. I wonder if we could get trade with them eventually, like if they would just agree. If I paid that, offered. 1100. Yes, nice. Because that'll pay for itself in 10 turns. That is good. Oh, sorry, Diego. Uh, so, hearing music in 528 hertz is better than 440 hertz. Which is for yourselves. Everyone hears. No YouTube channel that has many songs. Oh, really? Interesting. Revolution Under Siege is its own game. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Poor Byzantium. Don't feel bad for them. <laughs> Don't feel bad for them. Hey, Will. This region has so many mercs. Don't, don't forget them. Yeah, they're so expensive, though, right? Like, I don't know if I can afford them. Because won't I just uh, destroy my economy early on? Should play... Total War Ooga Booga mod? Yeah, I know you were talking about that. Macedonians were not Greek, so... Oh, okay, that makes sense, Blackstar. True, true. Start with a defensive alliance with the Greek horde in this mod, the Aetolians. Ah, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I, I thought d they didn't start a horde, did they, though? I thought they had Corinthus to begin with. Although maybe they took it on uh, turn one or two, and I just didn't notice. Illegitimate birth. Way to go. Okay, you need a wife, buddy. You've got to get a wife. Yeah, there are a lot of mercenaries here, which is definitely useful. But they're so exp like four six seven for this cavalry three three eight. This is two two eight. Uh, I mean, granted they're not as good, but yeah, the Cretan archers look amazing. I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely make use of these guys uh, later on for sure. If I had a, if there was any pikemen here, actually, I would probably hire them. But it is a great and glorious thing to die do they take two turns really? Anyway, we're still making 2,600, so that will go down 246. 
So we'll still be making 2k a turn, which is good. And then after that, I can get rid of this. Oh, actually, I can get rid of that now. Because that's not what's providing the uh, possibility to recruit cavalry, I'm assuming. I hope not. Uh, is the music quiet for you guys, too? I can turn it up. It's really quiet for me, but I also have a hat on. <laughs> Let me see. Let's turn it up a little bit there. Some are too expensive. Galatians are worth it anyways. Okay, well, if, uh, before I go into battle here, uh, if, if I see the Galatians and I can afford them, I'll, I'll, I'll get one or two of them maybe. Just as solid uh, frontline infantry, then. Brothers of the Trident, hello. I was looking for you yesterday. I can't muster units during winter other than mercs, hence the two turns. Oh, that's actually a really cool mechanic. Oh, I didn't know that. Very cool. You have school tomorrow? No worries, uh, Trident. As soon as, whenever you have to leave, just uh, go right ahead. It's all good. Bloxy, you should go look it up. Uh, it isn't really that simple, but short story is the population wasn't Greek, but the monarchy was. Right. Seasonal effects that might affect the recruitment times as well. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, because I was like, hold up. I thought for sure that they only took one turn. Force needs leadership now, so somebody died. Uh, I'm assuming he would be my... Is he my heir, maybe? Got extra campaign moving right. Oh, dismayed by blood. Oh, that's not good. Sure. Oh, okay, so now he's died. Uh, worthy bride. Wishes to marry his intended shiller. What? Xanthi. Give blessing, I guess. That's fine. Hey! Yes, that looks like a worthy bride. Take her hand. Yeah, so he's died. Uh, she can remarry, it looks like. But she can't marry any of my nobles. Why is that? Probably because she... Character is already married. Okay. Uh, so he... Why is he the son and heir? When it should have been him, I'm assuming. That's interesting. But luckily, uh, he was able to get... A wife and Galatians, you were saying. Oh, the Galatian warband. Oh, 318, though. Ah, oh, that is expensive. There are four, four of them available, though, so maybe I could switch these out. So basically be another 800 on top of this after this is done. So I guess it would go down to 2k a turn. So, all right, I'll disband the militia. I'll get four of them. Yeah, because they're looking very solid. Good main line infantry. And I would get some of the this cavalry here, but there's no shock cavalry available anyways. Although, I guess this uh, ballista mobile crew could be all right. Instead. How much is that? 216? And they're 228. Yeah, all right. I'll hire one of them. Then we'll come sit over here, declare war on these guys, and then ambush. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 20. 
It'd be 20 v 20 actually, so we, we might actually be able to win that. So yeah, let's do that. Sounds like a plan. I have tons of money to spend. The Bla Blations are very good. Yep, I've decided we're gonna we're gonna grab four of them. They'll uh, complement my Ajma quite nicely. <laughs> do a ballista army? <laughs> Maybe we'll see. Uh, who wants non-aggression? These guys. Um, I will give you non-aggression for free. I'm not paying you 200 bucks for that. Oh, there's a lot of uh, people from the Balkans uh, areas any uh, watching the stream here. Very cool. Ebloxy, I thought you were from Australia. I told I didn't even know you were from uh, from Greece or from uh, Greece there. That's pretty cool. Black stars from Croatia. Nice. Faction destroyed. Aetolian. Faction destroyed. Pontu. What? Oh, by the Galatians. Wow. Okay. Trait gain blackmailer. That's unfortunate. Agent exposed. Not aggression. Pact negotiated. Good. Okay, so let's move over to the edge here. Uh, yes, oh, we need to build something here, and I wanted to get that uh, marble quarry. Although this barracks... Ajima Cavalry, Royal Swordsman at the very end there. Yeah, we wanted something to, to make more money for us trading marble quarries at the cost of public order. I remember these were really good to have, too, because they give you that uh, extra income from agriculture, but at the cost of quite a bit of food, so maybe it's not that viable anymore. Uh, so yeah, let's stick with the original plan. Go for the marble currently. Uh, do we still have access to recruit those spears? We still do, so that's that's good. So let's get these four. And that ballista. And they don't have any allies. No, they don't. 20 v 20. Uh, looks like their ships are coming into this, but it's just a lot of spears. They do have some javelin cavalry, a lot more spears. And the two, two royal guard are going to be pretty tough to deal with. But once we deal with all this cavalry, it's two, three, four. I wonder how these ships are coming in as reinforcements. That, oh my gosh, I almost just spilled all my tea. Whew. That would have been bad. I mean, I have the archers, so should be fine. It's saying the balance of power is is okay for us. But I haven't played this in a long time, so I'm just a bit nervous. <laughs> I don't want to lose the first battle we come up against. Loop Cap is here. Hello. Yeah, Rex says Serbia here. Oh, very cool. Oh, you were... Oh, I see what you're saying. So, yeah, so you're born in Australia, but you're Greek. I see. Very cool, very cool. Remember me, I'm the kid that can't download. I know, I just don't understand what, what's the trouble with your uh, with your download there, Luke. You do have Darth Mod, but just don't know if you deleted it fully. Yeah, I don't know if it would uh, cause issues, though. Like, it, it would... Um... Like, I don't know if it would conflict. I'm just trying to think. I, d I really doubt that it would, but... Okay, so we've got a good line of infantry here in the center. Should be able to destroy those spears. We'll take a look at the units as well before we do begin. I'm going to put these two spears on the flanks because when they go up against that javelin cavalry, I just want to annihilate them with the uh, spears. And I'll put the 
I'll put the general on this javelin cav uh, behind them on this flank. So let's move him over there so I know where he is. And then they will be here. Along with these. And we have the uh, artillery as well. Oh, it's only one. Oh, it's not four. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I forgot about my archers, too. Spread the archers a little bit. There we go. Wait for them to come forwards. So let's take a look. So these are the uh, the foreign. Foreign uh, Thurio Spears. The Thurio Foroi. <laughs> and then we've got uh, the Royal Ajima Swordsmen. These guys looking awesome. Love the color for Pergamon. Here's the uh, Galatian yeah, Warband. Good mix here. Got the uh, Cretan archers right behind that. Nice, nice. And the militia cavalry. Hey, Milfred. Uh, now I do see this. That is a bit of a worry. That is definitely a bit of a worry. Hey, Luke, thanks a lot. I haven't even helped you download it, though. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad, but I wonder if I could just... Yeah, we're going to have to... This is actually a very precarious position that I put myself in here. Okay, we're going to we're gonna destroy this uh, cavalry unit here. And they're staying out of range, which is interesting. Archers are already getting destroyed by the uh, Pila. Good, good, good. Thanks so much for that, Luke. I really appreciate that. I'll, I'll comment more on that uh, when we get uh, a little bit more into the battle here. Let's get these guys focusing on this. Uh, you, I want you to turn around and start firing them. Glacian should hold there in that charge. Yeah, you go after them. You're breaking them. Nice job. And uh, these spears, I want to get them in range. But yeah, we are holding... St oh, that Galatian Warband actually took a huge amount of damage there. Good. They've broken from the battlefield. General is actually peeling back, so I'll bring some raiders in to deal with that. Oh, gosh. I've, yeah, see, the, um, the Pila there is not ideal. Pila throwing. Let's bring these guys around. Okay, so now what we're going to do, since we're kind of engaged already, let's turn around with our archers here. They shouldn't be in skirmish mode. They're not. Okay. Yeah, now I can bring my uh, general back in. Where did my other cav... Oh, it's already engaging the general. Nice. Uh, I would like to maybe catch some more of them. Actually, see if they return. Just ignore them for now. Good, good, good. Yeah, they're holding. Lista should just be beginning to be in range. Who are breaking? Who are breaking? My cab over here is breaking. Okay. You volleyed them. You move a little bit further over. This is a bit dicey because most of my melee infantry is engaged in melee at the moment. Please don't route off the battlefield, but you're going to. Oh, yes! That is lucky. Finally, actually, some luck on this campaign. Or in a campaign in general, I should say. Okay, here we go. Let's bring uh, two spears forwards as quickly as we can. Come on, volley! We've got those uh, two generals coming in as well. Uh, okay, you volley them. You come over here. Is this just a really... S oh, gosh, it's only ten men. Beauty. The Royal Guard, that's going to be a little bit of an issue, though. And that Royal Guard is going to be an issue as well. Good. Okay, I've got two swords free, so let's bring them over here. These spears are going to hit them in the flank. Come 
Come on, Spears. Need you to get here and hold. Uh, you actually, yeah, you have some uh, some ammunition left. Where the heck did that uh, general go? Here we go. Let's take him out for sure. Volley them in the back. There we go. Spears are holding. Uh, you guys focus this royal guard. Uh, pretty much all of these guys need to focus. Focus this royal guard if you can. Good. Those spears came in clutch just in time. Good. So he broke. He's got one left, but I, I seem to recall that generals don't don't die in this uh, mod. Uh, they you can't kill them for some reason. Okay, yeah, that's gonna kill my cavalry. So yeah, you keep firing on that. Let's try and run these boys down. Yes, yes, yes. Well done, and then we have to get out of there immediately before the uh, royal guard get there. And all of these guys have shattered, which is perfect. So let's turn them around and get them engaged. And what I need to do with this uh, cavalry here in a second is uh, run down all those units. Uh, that'll make our job a lot easier taking the city. Yeah, form up, Bithynia. I'm gonna crush these guys very quickly here. Wait till we're gonna hit them at the same time. Let's actually watch this in slow motion here. For those of you guys in the chat, just give me give me a few minutes here. Oh, yes, they're going to do a bit of a volley as well first with the Pila. And then Lance is down. Oh, and then we should have the cavalry coming right from behind as well. The lighter melee cavalry. Beautiful charge. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Don't want to leave them engaged for too long, though. But their numbers should drop pretty substantially there. Yes, they are. Perfect. How are things going over here? Let's split around here. Split around the Royal Guard, basically. You hit them. You can slam into those spears. Let's, let's put this on slow motion once again. Come on, cavalry. Ooh, it's a little laggy. That's going to be a good charge, though. Yes, yes, yes. That is beautiful. And that's going to be a chain route right there. That is what I want to see. And have they broken him over here? No, he's actually still surviving. try and pull away if we can we'll go in for another charge but yeah we need to run all of these guys down for sure yeah you're running them down there's nine there uh seven there so that's good we've got the royal guard kind of surrounded here so that's good Got some more swords. I'll bring them around the flank here a bit. Let's try and disengage these this militia cav. But there we go. That royal sword is broken. How are we looking over here? It's probably exhausted. No, actually, just tired. All right, turn around. Destroy the scum. I love how long those lances are on the cavalry. Although there was a bit of a bug there. They didn't get as good of a charge off, it looked like. So that is unfortunate. That is numbers dropping. There we go. He is going to break very soon. Uh, where's the other cavalry? Yeah, run down that royal guard. And victory. Beautiful. You run down this royal guard here. Put this on fast forward. Uh, just give me one second here. I want to open my task manager for a second. While that's all going on. 
and just reset the priority for Attila here to high. That might make it run a little bit better. Okay, uh, what do we got out here, though? Five, two, one. Wow, they got slaughtered. Holy crap, there's seven of them, so we could try and take them out. That general's being run down. They've got two Royal Guard here and three Royal Guard there. I think that's probably good. Oh, I love that sound, too. The music. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, let's run back here on the... Uh... So, Luke Cap donating $3.99. Thanks so much, dude. I really appreciate that. Always love to donate. Help me with Darth Mod. Okay, good, good. At least I help you with something. Uh, let's see. You guys are talking in amongst yourselves there. That's fine. It's hard going into Attila. Only way to kill generals is to engage them twice or when they can't retreat. Ah, okay. Thanks, uh, Tuski. I appreciate that. Fresh download of three times and every time it crashes. Uh, so, Luke, you're talking about Napoleonic Total War 3, I'm assuming? Wavemaker, hello. Thanks for tuning in, dude. Um, Kazwar Haddad, I hope that's how I pronounce your name. Hello. Thanks for tuning in. It's not a bug. The spears brace and the horses shied away. Ah, okay. Very cool, Will. Very cool. That's a cool mechanic. Serbian army was expelled from Greece. Horses shy away, really? From the spite. I guess because they are spears. That does make sense, yeah. But we destroyed them there. Look at the amount that they lost. Yes. Oh, this is this is going to be a good campaign. Surprisingly, these spears doing really well, but I think it's just the amount of javelins they have. Archers doing really well. Cavalry here, 650 kills. Wow. This was okay. Uh, I had thought there was four of them, though, instead of the one, so I might get rid of that, because I think I can get more kills and have more success uh, than 53 kills. The only thing I do like this for is that I can force uh, armies to uh, come to me. Which is interesting. Uh, the 7% replenishment is probably a good idea. Uh, why are we negative now? At your command. What? Is it because we're out of our territory or something? Ah, uh, we can auto resolve that. Uh, why am I negative? Will I try two tons again? I'm playing as Lithuanian Legendary. It's kind of challenging, uh, Milfred says. Uh, yes, I have a poll on my YouTube community tab. In fact, I can take a look at what the verdict is so far. But last time I checked, it was very heavily in favor of trying again. So I think I will be doing that. Uh, yeah, 87 votes. 91% uh, are in favor with me trying the uh, Penguin Crusade again, so I will be doing that uh, next Saturday. And then for my 12-12 uh, campaign, I have a vote up as well. There's 102 votes on that. So after this live stream, I'll be posting one final poll for a while, I promise you guys. Uh, but it will be considering what uh, Let's Play campaign uh, I will be doing in Ancient Empires. And uh, the Ancient Empires campaign episode and the 12-12 episode will be coming out on the same day. Uh, the Troy ones will continue, but I think I may kind of cut them off just because uh, there isn't a lot of uh, interest, uh, we'll say, in it. Commander. No Napoleon in total work both three times, and even without a mod, it crashes. Uh, why don't you Why don't you try and completely uninstall uh, Napoleon, Luke, and uh, also make sure that you deleted the hidden uh, Napoleon folder in App Data Roaming Creative Assembly, because in that in that hidden folder, there's a Napoleon folder that holds a lot of the information. Should you choose to reinstall it again, and uh, that could be where the Darth mod files are. Uh, kind of holding out on you and causing crashing. So if you delete Napoleon, go into App Data Roaming Creative Assembly, delete that folder, the Napoleon folder in there, uh, and then reinstall it. Then try Napoleon Total War 3 again and see. So we have a royal residence. We'll repair that. We have a... Is this a fishing port? It looks like it is. So this, I'm assuming, is a trading port? 
Uh, let's see. So this is the one I have. Okay, so it's, yeah, this is trading. This is uh, fish, and this would be military. Uh, so, yeah, having a fishing port actually is good because that will net us quite a lot of food. And that probably means that I don't need to have uh, land grants here. So we'll get rid of that because we'll be making our plus 40 food from fishing. Although, will it offset that? I'm not 100% sure, actually. So maybe we will need farms. Okay, we'll leave that for now and see see how it goes. Upkeep goes up when you leave your settlement. You should generally be in raiding stance. Okay, that makes sense. After the Byzantines fell, you got an empire. Good, so they're pretty much destroyed. So probably the next one to go after is the Galatians, because then I will be able to complete this province. Although they're probably relatively powerful at this point. We're 26. Galatians are 48. So we're still stronger than them. And uh, the way they performed in that last battle, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Didn't lose any full units. Uh, as far as mercenaries go... Um, yeah, I probably would want another cavalry unit. Maybe some uh, mercenary Galatian cavalry. I know they're super expensive. Instead of the Militia Cavalry. We'll, we'll see. We'll leave it as, as it is for now and see how things go. Uh, everybody seems happy with me. I won't be entering into any relationships with them. Or diplom uh, diplomatic relationships, I should say, currently. Yeah, Galatia, we're just a bit stronger than them. They're dead. And um, we may have to go and deal with Macadon eventually. If they bring a stack over here, we could be in a bit of trouble. Our garrison is relatively good, though. We have two ramming ships as well, so we could maybe try and go after the general. Ah, uh, we can assign a provincial governor, of course. So we have a sanitarian, which is useful. Bureaucrat, which is tax rate. Ooh, bureaucrat or sanitarian. Um, I don't know if plus two sanitation is going to make a difference, so we'll pop that in. Oh, and over here, we got to change this over because we're not recruiting anything anymore. Growth and culture, state influence... Assimilation... Yes, yeah, so let's go for that. And for you guys, who are making next to no money, could do that as well. Gives a bit of extra discontent, though, which they're not super happy about. Or bread and games, but that's at the cost of 20 food. Hmm. Yeah, I think assimilation is good. See how that works out for us. Hey, Crixus. If I ever have the time, could I make a two-minute vid on how to do all that? I'm not great with computers. Uh, yeah, I can show you. Uh, in fact, if you go to my channel, Luke, and you... You go to YouTube. No, yeah, just go to YouTube and type in... I think it was called... Um, how to send me and then slash any YouTuber Total War replays. Uh, click on that video. It's a very old video, so apologies for it. Uh, but I actually show you how to uh, enable the app data folder because that's where your replays are stored as well. So I'll show it'll show you where the app data is, how to enable it, and then you can go app data, um, local files, or whatever creative assembly. So do that. The boss, hello, hello, Crixis, hello. Suddenly 3k income from what it says Wavemaker. Yep. Uh, yeah, we're making about a 500 or so from this, uh, it looks like. Uh, plus, it may have increased our trade, too, because we have uh, fish as a trading resource. Uh, so that's probably where we're making the extra money from. Ah, they're coming just to die. That's fine. Oh, they survived. 
Uh, that gives us extra replenishment, though. So that's nice. And it levels up our general once again. Uh, I really hope that somebody kills uh, Makadon, though, so that I don't have to deal with them. Thanks to everyone tuning in, though, for this. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, Galatia came in and took them out for me. Nice. Thanks for that. Why no defensive alliance and dollars from roads? Uh, because they'll just pull me into wars. Uh, they'll just de get declared war on or... And uh, I'll have to make a choice to break alliance or whatever, so... No defensive allies, no military allies. I don't think you can confederate in this anyways, so... Like, there's no uh, confederation option, so there's just really no point for me. Uh, Egypt, I would love to get trade with you now. Yeah, see how we have fish as a tradable commodity? So if I can lock that down, I'll give them 1,600. Yes, good. So that's going to help us out a lot. And obviously keep them happy as well. So yeah, a little bit of extra money, so. Because if we take a look at uh, here in a trade... Yeah, so we're, uh, we're making a 1,000 now because we have uh, the fish. Which is good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got a lot of Eastern culture here, which I'm not super happy with. Is it uh, the Seleucids? Are they Eastern culture? No, they're Macedonian. So where's this Eastern culture coming from? Or is it just because... Because there's a lot of Eastern that live in the general area? That's kind of strange. Anyways, let's bring my spy over here so we can see where the army is. Okay, so they do have an army here, and they've got an army there as well. Uh, what's in here? So they've got Galatia Noble Warbands. So that's the good units. Well, that's an 11 stack. Plus, what's the garrison here? Holy moly. 50, 60, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 2, 3, 24. 24. I could actually take this settlement now because I have a ballista. But I would like to maybe just try and take them out first. Okay, so let's convert this to... Oh, yeah. I forgot that it, it really isn't worth it to convert that, is it? Yeah, because I'll actually go down. Right now, I don't know if I... Am I benefiting from this? Because it says plus 600 income. But if I change this over, it's only going to be plus 300 income. It will be less food, but it, there's going to be a lot of native discontent as well. Anyways, let's get the uh, farms, I'm thinking. What's the... Uh, we've got very good here. So yeah, getting the farms. You want good fertility. And uh, we can upgrade this for extra fish. I think that's a good idea, just to make sure we have a lot. So, is this any good to do? The right tree is only in your home capital. That makes sense, but, like, am I benefiting from this? If I don't change it over, am I making that 600 from from taxation? Because I'm only going to get 300 from taxation if I do this. John Turk says I'm Seljuk's grandson. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, let me know on that, guys. Uh, let's level this guy up once again. So, let's see. Extra integrity as general. 
his integrity is extremely good right now. Native discontent. Uh, th these are all for governors. Less attrition. And what is this? Minus six upkeep cost. Ooh. There we go. 4,200 now. If the building's not your culture, you don't get the full benefits of it anyways. The original building won't give you a garrison. Oh, I see. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, you're right. Okay, so I guess we should change that over then. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, let's see. Let's get extra unit experience and let's let's hope that they stand. If they don't, that's kind of annoying, but I'm hoping that they don't move. Yeah, they're going to move back there. Ah, oh, that's so annoying because now they're going to draw those in. And I don't know if I'm going to win against that. They have some pretty powerful soldiers. Uh, what do I have access to here? I've got the, the better cavalry that I could get because they've got some mercenary Galatian cavalry and Tarantine cavalry. Hi, Keldick. For the next 1212 campaign, I recommend... Easier starting position. Basically all the Catholic Europeans minus France, Toulouse, Burgundy, two tons. I like the increase in popular Attila mods recently. Yeah, definitely Wavemaker. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, don't worry, Petrov. Like, I'm not, uh, I'm not super upset that I, I lost the campaign. Like, it, it happens. Um... These bonded spears are pretty garbage. Uh, the, the Galatian hunters I could probably deal with. I think I should actually be fine. Yours to command. Uh, I just have to be careful because we've got this this very large uh, garrison over here as well. They don't have any garrison here though, actually. Commander. But I can't reach it because he's in the way. So what I'm going to do, since I have a good amount of money... Let's merge these guys. Get rid of them. I might get rid of this ballista as well. Because it didn't really kill that many. Even when they were all clumped up like that, I would have thought they would have got a lot more kills. Uh, let's see. Pontic Spearman would be cool to have. Yeah, I basically just want this better cavalry here. Now I feel a bit more confident getting some good rear charges with that cav. It's extremely expensive, so I'll disband them later. Because they're 500 right now that I'm paying for. So it's uh, 4,600 <laughs> versus 3,100. Am I biting off more than I can chew? Let's go ahead and find out. If I can move quickly and destroy the first army, then we can handle the second army later. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's get these guys right at the front. Did my royal swords, they didn't take, like, any damage in that battle. Dang. Uh, these guys are a little weak, so I'll split them up here. Putting them on the flank. I'm going to, since I have a little bit more cavalry, I'm going to put all, all the militia cab with my general. Then I'm going to put the heavy-hitting Galatians over here. Imagine, imagine having to fight like your own countrymen, possibly maybe people you even know as mercenaries. So like this, it's your job. Like you, you kind of have to do it. I guess you could say no, but then you would be killed or thrown out. But imagine like being on the opposite side, like with the Greeks, your Galatians, and you know you're going to fight Galatians. Like 
This is some sad, tough times. Don't want them to get exhausted. Where are they? They're probably hiding, actually. Let's spread out this way. They're probably waiting for their full force to come in. Enemy approaches. From where? They should all be right in front. Oh, what? Let's try and cut them off here as quickly as we can. No, not all of you. You guys over here. Actually, can we... Maybe we can take this out. Okay, we do have some cavalry coming over this direction. I'll have to keep an eye on that. But if I could take all these guys out... You guys come this way. Oh, the archers too. I forgot to move the archers back. Charging on in. We did take some damage. They took some damage, but I'm about to give them a whole lot more. Yeah, the Tarantine Cavalry are going to be a bit of a problem. In fact, you know what? We'll form up our archers here with our general. Everybody else is going over here to deal with these guys, though. As quickly as we can. Good. We've already got the two other spears here, which is excellent. Let's get these spears over here. Oh, that's the Galatian bodyguard. That's why they're doing so good. Okay. It's very good cavalry. Let's move these guys forwards a bit. I just don't want these spears to get over here and help out. Not before my swords are ready. flank. Come on, bodyguard. Break. Yes, he is broken. And some of our units are forming up just in time. He is gone, so let's split off here. Try and skate around the enemy. Good, good, good. Ooh, yes, they're getting destroyed. Oh, yes. Goodbye, General. Goodbye. Get wrecked, my dude. I don't want to chase them away too much, though. Okay, you guys. You guys come around this way. We'll go after all these archers that are sitting here. Those archers are doing a good amount of damage. these swords over on this flank. Ready for battle. Ah, that's unfortunate. No, Cav, come back. Didn't actually even need my general over here. That's the nice thing. Turn, yeah, there we go. Good. You just relax. Come on back. focus the noble warband you can hit there you come around here i can't believe i'm hold i'm gonna be holding these guys here with archers and three units of cavalry <laughs> that's probably not something that i should be doing but anyways there we go uh actually yeah you keep coming this way yeah you've got them beautiful yeah you keep focusing them he realizes what has happened, but it's kind of too late at this point. I'm feeling very confident here. You disengage. Yeah, you keep running them down. You're going to sneak in here on that flank. 
Good. Run them down. Run them down. Get these guys around here. That's a good volley, too. Nice. Even more kills. They're starting to waver. These guys are going to form up. Start volleying these guys. You're going to slam into the back here. How are we looking? Still taking their sweet time getting over here. These guys are wavering, even though they haven't lost any men yet. Let's move back up here with my archers. There we go. Yeah, shattered them with those volleys. You come after these guys here. That's going to be a good charge. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you can go kill them. You go after that Galatian cavalry there. Ooh, that chain route, though. Yes. Where'd the other cav go that was running? So what do we got? Four, seven, ten. Can run them down a little bit further. <laughs> They're all wavering. Oh, they know what's happening. You get out of here. Try and run away. Ah, they're going to catch you, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, you're you're good now. You come back this way. Mercenary Galatian Cavalry. They're going to be tough for sure. Yes. Yes, yes. Good start to the campaign so far. Good start. I got juked. <laughs> Wonder how that went. Massey Ferguson. Hello, dude. Thanks for tuning in. Two streams a day. Celtic going ham in 2021. Well, actually, I used to stream. Uh, I used to th stream three times. Uh, I used to stream on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, but uh, I since uh, f have foregone the Wednesdays because it was just too much and I couldn't keep up with any uh, recorded video content. That is not ideal. You get over here. That is really not ideal. But yeah, I, ha I used to stream quite a bit, but uh, I've actually kind of pulled it back a bit in, in 2021. But I'm glad you guys are enjoying Oh, gosh. Yeah, that is really bad. All of my... Oh, this was going so well before. I need to disengage and bring all my cavalry over here, like, now. This unit, uh, you need to get down here, because what are we chasing here? Um, 51. Yeah, we probably should run them down. Good. So they're engaged. You three pull back. Those archers should come back. So you just go in there and delay them for now. Those archers should come back from routing. And this general's just going to have an absolute heyday. Yes, he did. Perfect. There we go. That should kind of tip things in our favor. We can volley these guys. You guys can come in to help out. And you guys just get out of the way. Yeah, that is unfortunate. It was almost a perfect battle. But those archers really caused us... Uh, or sorry, that cab really caused us some problems. Uh, general over here. Yeah, you guys just come down here. All the cavalry just come down here. Is this Rome 2 a mod? Uh, no, it's uh, for Attila. Ancient Empires for Attila there, Massey. Yeah. I'll try and add uh, the link to the Discord after uh, the stream goes live. Uh, Tuski. I think that's how you... Tuski? 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 That Galatian Cavalry is down to 14. Excellent. 
general go after those Galatian hunters there. They're probably going to escape, so we'll come down this way. Let's actually fast forward here. Should have been doing that. What's this? More Galatian cav. Absolute slaughter. Don't think we lost any full units, too. Let's cut the general across here, see if we can grab these guys. Got two left there, that's fine. I tried to play this game eight months ago, but I couldn't get past 20 turns, usually due to freeze. Uh, Matthew, they've been working on it quite hard. Uh, this is a new update that uh, they've been working on. So yeah, if you wanted to try it again, it's it uh, should be a lot more stable. Now granted, it is still a work in progress, so there are some bugs that are still present, but... Uh, it's just such a fun mod. Uh, I love the Attila modeling and the Attila, the Attila look, the Attila landscapes, but I love the Roman era and the, uh, the Greek era, so having ancient empires is, is just, ah, perfect. Decisive victory. I bet you would have been another heroic victory if, uh, I had lost, uh, my archers there. I think that was this unit here, 141 kills. Look at that cab, though. Yeah, they're 500 gold a turn, but 13, 1400 kills between them. General, almost 1,000 kills. Even Militia Cav, 537. Yes. Well done. Well done indeed. I'm really impressed with those spears, too. They seem to rack up the kills. Yeah, I think Tuski is one of the modders, uh, Wavemaker, and also Will. I don't know if Will is still in the chat. He's got a, the Ancient Empire's logo as his uh, picture. Uh, he's one of the modders as well. Slaughtered them. We'll take the 5% replenishment. And he was wiped out, which is fantastic. So let's uh, try and take the... Oh, although I probably can't take the city now, eh? I have to siege it for a turn because I got rid of my uh, ballista. Right. Uh, that's fine, though, because they might actually bring this uh, other army in, and I should be able to destroy them again. Let's uh, come over here and see how strong our next target is going to be. Although I could actually go after these guys next. And we killed in battle. Nice. Yeah, so all of this I can take here. Yeah, that's a whole other province, so... Good. Uh, so, yeah, we are, we are definitely... Not making as much money as we did before, but uh, due to that cavalry. Is there any mercenary onagers to be able to take it right away? No. I guess that's the good thing about keeping it, is that I can kind of jump into those right away. There may be a rebellion here that we're going to have to sort out as well. We've also got to pay attention to our sanitation, too. But I think that's everything I can do. Anybody else hate me? It's just Macedon. Just Macedon so far. Uh, the Galatians don't even hate me, even though we took their territory. That's kind of funny. Oh, they could pull a fast one on me, too, and actually come across and try and take that other settlement. So I might have to pay attention to that. Uh, they can't reach it in one turn, though, so... Hey, Lord Garrett. Thanks for tuning in, dude. Ancient Empire is the best alternative to Rome 2. Rome 2 is still a mess after seven years and is never ever fixed. Civil Wars were overhauled like four to five times and other versions worked. Ah, fair enough. I still enjoy uh, I still enjoy Rome 2 from time to time, but okay. 
we'll have to fight this one as well. But this is uh, pretty much one army versus one army, so we should be fine. Yeah, Masty, I'm surprised that you had the issues with um, your previous campaigns, because I think, like, two years ago, I did a Macadon campaign in Ancient Empires, and I was able to get through all the way to the end, I think. I did experience one or two crashes, but they weren't uh, they weren't game-breaking. Uh, same thing. I'll take the uh, militia cavalry over here the general and then put these two spears on the flank are they coming towards us it looks like they are hey Martin Jovovic I think is how you pronounce it hello They outnumber us, but just barely. That cavalry we should be able to just destroy with our archers, so. Good, good, good. Jovovich. You have a channel, Garrett? Sweet, dude. Or have you uploaded anything on it yet? Or have you just made the channel? Yovo Witch. Got it. Okay. My apologies. <laughs> hey, Nolan or Tattoo. What's going on, dude? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing, actually, which is kind of funny. Let's move these two over this way. These three over this way. There's the general. Just arrived. Let's put this on play now. And, yep. Yeah, start focusing the skirmishers down. Yeah, you focus the cav good. I was, I was worried there that they were going to charge in, but they decided not to. Time to try and go after this cavalry. Oh, they did! Oh, snakes! <laughs> no! Uh, I didn't think they were going to do that. Oh, they shattered that unit. Dang. Oh, man. AI be playing tricks on me. And General's coming in now. Oh, boy. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Save the archers. All right, let's move the cab out. Let's get these guys moving on the flank. Wow, they did a lot of damage there. One of those can handle that general. Split off. Man, that's twice in a row my archers have taken punishment there. Yeah, he should die, which is excellent. 3 a.m. for you guys. My goodness. How do you install stainless steel mod? Just go to the channel. He blocks the. I've got a. Uh, a good tutorial on that. It's old, but it's still relevant because it's uh, still the most recent. Uh, still the most recent version. Good. They were destroyed. Tarantine cavalry. Check 
Chase after them. And psych into your Galatian Slingers I go. Actually, I can lock them down. Lock them down. My general will go into the Galatian Slingers. You guys can come around the flanks here. Charge those spears. And you can come to aid this unit in the center. So he's routed them. Yep, they've routed. I love all the chat today. Awesome. The only played is the Cambric, but it's a weird bug for their faction culture. Ah, uh, could have been, could have been, yeah. Man, Blackstar, if you guys need to head to bed at 3 a.m., uh, please do so. I don't want you guys to be tired at work tomorrow. You got six subs already. Nice, Garrett. Well done. So many battles. I pause the stream and come back ten minutes later, and I'm in a different battle. Yeah, I think we've had like three or four pretty huge battles so far, Azerin. Uh, okay, so he, he won't escape. This guy is still holding over here. That is impressive. Thanks for tuning in, though, Azerin. I appreciate that. I know this isn't 12-12. Uh, uh, I would love to go after these guys, but there we go. That's the, that's the break I needed. Uh, two wills, yeah, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay, Will. I refer to him as Azrian because that's what he's known in my Discord. So we won't have any uh, confused confusion. And Rex four four eight seven gifted uh, or gave uh, Lord Garrett a sub there, so. Well done, well done. All right, Black Star, take care. Have a good one. And Rex4487, see you later. Thanks for tuning in. What do I search for Celtic Warband's Discord channel? Uh, it should be in the description of uh, any one of my videos uh, if you're interested in joining my Discord. Uh, if you want to join the... Uh, Ancient Empires Discord, I'll, I'll provide a link here in a, in a second. Uh, while I'm just running all these guys down, I can do that. Uh, don't shoot my... my uh, don't shoot them, please. Here, you can shoot these guys, actually. Should hopefully wear them down. Uh, yeah, let me let me grab an invite here, if, if I can. Should be able to. Here, I'll post it right in the chat. Uh, it's probably not one that will last for too long. Uh, it's not like an open-ended one, so people who are watching the stream afterwards probably won't be able to uh, join, but... I'll post a link in my uh, neighboring clan locations as well. Uh, that should be... That should be where all the discords are. Uploaded eight videos. Nice. Ebloxy says, for Medieval 2. What do you mean for Medieval 2? Oh, do I know a mod for Medieval 2 that has the Eastern Roman Empire and Western Roman Empire and also the Huns? Uh, for Medieval 2? Um, I don't think so. Not that I've come across. That's fine. We slaughtered them. Four four six and one eight four. Nice jobs there. I'm gonna just ban this mercenary Galatian cavalry afterwards though, because it's just so expensive. It's very expensive. Took six hundred and fifty one losses, but it was my archers that got charged there. I didn't expect the cavalry to go in like that. Very unfortunate. Barbarian invasion DLC for medieval two? I don't think so. Oh no, I lost one of my archers. Ah, uh, that sucks. 
Uh, that's okay, though. I can put in the mercenary Cretan Archer, maybe. Utilize them. Oh, boy. Wonder if Macedon wants peace, because I will give it to them. Those are some big stacks coming up. And I don't want them taking Sizigus. 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 I don't know. Okay, so Rome went to war there. So we're making 1100. Should be able to just auto resolve this. You upload Napoleon Total War 3 in 1212. Nice. Very cool, dude. You don't have Rome 1? Oh, that's too bad. Oh, I lost two spears in that, eh? Dang. Uh, I don't want to liberate them. I'm just going to occupy. We hunger for battle. And what can I get here? Uh, I can't replace that archer I lost. 146 versus 126. That's worth it. I'll grab them. And I'm down to 18 because I lost uh, two of those spears. That's perfect, though, because I can replace them in... Uh, I want the momentum, though. So I'm going to keep going for now. Because it's going to take two turns. Uh, let's see. Extra replenishment for him. And... Minus six upkeep costs for land units when in foreign territory. That's a good thing to go for. See, so yeah, I will head down there. And let's see. I'll have to change that to Conquered Barbarians. We've got land grants here. So I'll repair that. And Pathways. To Roads for maintenance cost. I'll repair that for the time being. Oh, we, we gained our money back too because we're not in uh, enemy territory anymore. Macedon. I have no interest in fighting you, dude. Do you just want peace? No? Okay, that could be a problem then. We may have to hightail it back to our capital if they've got two coming over here. Although, if they hit Ephesus and take that, then we could jump over there and take that. That could be very useful. What's the difference between Third Age Reforge and Divide and Conquer? Yeah, the music is nice, Azerian. Uh Divide and Conquer Ebloxy is mostly campaign focused, and Third Age Reforged is more battle focused. Um, I hear my son screaming, and I think my wife is out, so I'll be right back. Give me two minutes. there guys oh my gosh <laughs> oh no what the heck happened here <laughs> no <laughs> well that is a nasty surprise when he comes back yeah oh bro holy crap 
They're all coming from... Well, we gotta fight this. I have no other choice. Ooh. Oh, if I lose my capital here, that's really gonna suck. They're gonna all have to come and funnel through this little choke point, though, I think. <laughs> Sci-Fi Horizon. Someone hit auto-resolve. No chance, buddy. No chance. You're a noob on PC. How do you join Discord on the Discord app? Um, if you click the link, it should come right through, uh, Massey. Okay. Are these transports? They've got fleets coming in, though. Looks like they can only land here. Oh, they do have some uh, units coming in this way. Greek ballistic crew and some Ajima cavalry. Do I have any? I do have cavalry. Okay. So you're going to stay here. And then I, I think they can only land here. I'm pretty sure. As far as I can tell. just walking in seeing your father with a pig beanie playing <laughs> total war whatever man whatever i'm not worried <laughs> and my kids are really young anyways so besides this isn't how you guys play total war what can set the archers up over here they're gonna have some good good commanding uh views of the battlefield can i get Units over here as well. Looks like. And I wonder if I should set these on flaming arrows, although that will probably be a waste, I think. This is kind of the best chance that I have. And these two I'm going to bring in here to just land. Although, there's only ten of them. I'll, I'll actually keep them here, since there's only ten. I'll keep them, like, in here to maybe, like, jumble their ships up. And try and cause them some... Some... Traffic jam issues. Uh, I do have a barricade, but... It doesn't look like there's anywhere to put a barricade down, so... Uh, there's no... Nowhere else that they're deployed on, so... Uh, which one is my general? You're the you're my governor, so I would like to keep him alive if possible. Oh no! Ah, oh, brew. <laughs> oh no. Uh, that's frustrating. Uh, let's just deselect Olympia Battle Camera. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but thank goodness for the autosave. Hell's Gate and Arrow Corridor where enemy numbers don't count. That's what I was going for. So if they attack again, we're going to do the same thing. All true. If I'm on Steam on my iPhone, but I have a PC, I figured it out. Big noob. Okay, no worries. They are ram ships, but I because there's, there's so many enemy ships, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it would make much of a difference. I, I can try. I guess I can try to maybe sink, like, a couple of the pike units. Yeah, we have the auto save, so that's good. And I won't, like, spawn in any troops or anything. We'll just click end turn. 
Word of warning, the city and a few others might be glitched. Think Sisychus was one of them. Might stutter a lot, unfortunately. They're fixing the maps. <laughs> and then I crashed, eh? Hey, UM Centurion. Thanks for tuning in, dude. Skip that map. It'll be fixed in the update. Oh, but then I'm going to lose. That's the issue. I'll, I'll lose my... Uh my capital if i don't fight it like there's no way to fix it like not at all like there's not a chance that i can uh fight fight it if that's the case then i might actually try and throw some more money at, at macedon and see if they'll agree to that or cancel these buildings because that's that's gonna suck if Or, like, should I try again? What do you think? Like, or are you 100% sure that it's not going to work? We hunger for battle. No? Oh, that sucks. All right, well, I'm not going to cheat. I could cancel his buildings, but we'll just enter. Oh, that's so unfortunate, though. Because I feel like I definitely could have defended that. Ah, uh, no, I don't want any alliances. I'm sorry. Yeah, that sucks, because I'm I almost positive I could have held there with all those spears as they filtered off the ships. I could have just javelined them to death and then just held. But, I mean, if they take it, they take it. I'll just uh, quickly kill Galatia and then turn around and we'll deal with Macadon, because I don't have any other immediate uh, um, enemies to worry about. No defensive alliance, go away. Yeah, here we go. Oh, you douchebags. <laughs> that sucks. Oh. That is really unfortunate, but what can you do? They only lost 600. I definitely could have done better than that. And they liberated them? What? Okay, they are weakening Byzantium, it looks like. They have a lot of armies, though. Dang. I think what I need to do is start building up a navy here, or at least another army. Because I'm going to get a rebellion here, too. And I need to kill these guys. And take that back. Oh, that's really going to hurt my income, too. I bet you anything. What? you got to be kidding me. They got a full army spawned in. And I don't have any garrison here. Bro. <laughs> How did they spawn a 20 stack? Oh. Oh, that hurts. Oh my gosh. So just like that, they've taken all of my territory. So I need to turn around and deal with them. Uh, she can deal with that. Oh my gosh. Okay, quickly take this out. Oh, just get out of the way. Any no, any notable heroes of this era? Uh, well, oh balls again. How did he take them out? And I'm going to have to siege them here. In fact, let me regroup. Can I still reach it? I can. Grab these skirmishers. Uh, Cav is probably not going to be super useful, but... Still, I wanted to see if there was a catapult available, but there's not. Okay. We hunger for battle. Oh, and now I'm hemorrhaging funds as well. 
Uh, do I actually have a garrison here? I don't. Oh. Man, that is so crap that they just managed to get a full 20 stack there from that. <laughs> just like that, it's turning into this worst nightmare. Oh, this terrible nightmare that I've been having here. Uh, thankfully, they can't move in and take that right away. I'm glad I put that general in there. But wow, wow, wow. Can't believe Macedon did me like that. This is going to be hard to come back from, actually. I just hope they sit there. Or they go and bother Byzantium or something. And leave me alone. I just need one turn to take this. And then, if they move in and siege, we're going to be in trouble. Because we're going to be royal. Oh my gosh. Seriously, guys. Okay. Okay. thing is, I don't think that I have one turn to wait here. So we'll have to come back to these guys later. They're going to get to live for now. Uh... Really? Okay. At your command. You're gonna come over here and destroy this for me. What do they have? Commander. Most of the same stuff I do. Let's move over Advance. here. Because I, I gotta go back and take those territories that I lost here. Uh, I don't have enough for that, which is fine. Ready for orders. At your command. Ready for orders. Just want him to step out over here so I can at least get Ready access to him. <laughs> newly liberated factions always get a stack even in attila but a 20 stack seriously that they can move the 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 turn that they're liberated does anyone know if any units in medieval 2 can shield wall i don't think so not in vanilla medieval 2 Okay. Back up to five archers, which is good. Uh, I've got a nice little valley here for defense. Uh, so I guess I'm going to need to actually take out um, Makedon before I move out any further. So I guess that's what will be our focus. Uh, let's put you guys right here behind the archers. And let's put you guys, yeah, and the trees over, excuse me, over here with my general. And see if they come towards me. Also, I have another cavalry unit, which I can bring in. Let's 
sending me a map update I can use during the stream or next. Should have a lot of fixed maps. That's perfect. Uh, even if it's not for this stream, for next stream would be fantastic. And uh, also uh, for the Let's Play that I plan to do starting next Saturday. Uh, if it can fix a lot of the maps, that'd be awesome. That'd be really awesome. But for this stream, I mean, we're uh, the damage is done at this point, unfortunately. I didn't know that the Pergamon Rebels would be able to just be super OP like that. That's pretty insane. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's get, actually, these two generals here. Uh, with the cavalry. The other two cavalry can stay where it is. They're going to sit up on this hill, so... Uh, let's move into this forest here, but we're just going to walk. I don't want you guys to get all tired. Now let's move these guys to hide in the trees here. And uh, these four, let's get them up over here on the, on the hilltop. Feed your tongues to the dogs. <laughs> Playing Medieval 2 in custom battle, cannot find any Greek fire throwers. Uh... No, I don't think Medieval 2 has, though. Oh, no, actually. Uh, it might be in one of the DLCs, actually. Uh, the Byzantines, I think, had a unit somewhat like that. Yeah, because I've seen, I've seen in, like, the uh, loading screens, they had, like, the Greek fire throwers uh, infantry unit. See if I can at least move my uh, militia cav here to hide. Because I think they're mostly over here. And they're going to try and sit doll defensively. Let's bring this cavalry out in the open so that they don't try and move off the hill as we're moving up. Let's uh, try and keep these guys hidden. Oh, well, they're already not. Let's move these guys around here. All the DLCs, including Kingdoms, but in the Byzantine roster, they don't show them. It might not. It might be like in the Crusades uh, DLC or something. Well, so we basically have done two hours of the stream so far, and we've made no headway <laughs> because because of that rebellion, or that uh, they basically subjugated them or, or freed them, and now they've risen up against us. That sucks. Let's move you guys over here. Let's keep uh, probing the tree line as well just to see if we can see anything as our infantry is finally getting here. Let's move out into the more of the open here. Looks like they might be starting to move some units down, actually. They're facing my cavalry. That's what they're doing. Let's get these guys up here. Yeah, they're all focusing my cav. <laughs> and... These guys will be in range. I'm just going to wait until these guys are in position. I didn't forget anyone, right? No. Good. Okay, this is where got to make sure that we do things properly. I want you guys right up in front here. And we need to draw that cavalry off. You guys come. You guys come. And uh, javelins. I want you focus this Galatian cavalry here. Actually, javelins come this way. Because they're going to try and do some sneaky flanks. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay, good. That drew them off because they realized, No, you scum! Oh, that's going to hurt. That's really going to hurt. Oh, gosh. Don't break, my dudes. Do not break. Yeah, 
I lost all my spears, which is unfortunate. Good. Okay, they've shattered. Uh, actually, you come over here. Deal with them. You form up here. You continue focusing them down. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to go over here as soon as uh, these guys leave the archers. Good. They're shattered. You charge into these spears next. You hit those swords in the flank. Yeah, they will return, which they have. That Ajima cavalry is so powerful. Guys, they're right there. Fire. Oh, that's way too late. Way too late. Come on, get in there, General. What is this? Mercenary Galatian cavalry. Yeah, they have shattered. Okay, get out. Stop engaging the spears. There we go. Yep. Keep following them. You break the Tarantine Cavalry. As soon as these guys break, that'll be good. Oh, this Ajima Cavalry is going to be a huge problem. Very huge problem. That was a good volley in my back, too. Oh, man. Yes. Good. He's broken. All their archers have been broken. As soon as this breaks, we're in good standing here. Okay, don't break. Keep volleying. Yes, good. That's what I want to see. And you three, just keep focusing these units here. You turn around. Actually, you come and help out the general here against this Tarantine cavalry. He's down to one, so that's fine. Let's take out the Cretan archers, wipe out their army, and then we're going to steamroll right back, take all of our territory back that we lost. We're going to gather a good stack, maybe a stack and a half, and we're going to go and meet the Macedonians on the field, and we're going to destroy them. I'm hoping we can do that before the end of the stream, uh, but I'm already up to here with Macedon. I am full up, full up with them. And I cannot lose my third campaign in a row. <laughs> my morale is just plummeted. Yes, yes, take that. Take freaking that, my dudes. You two keep... Actually, I, I don't want you guys to get a lot of friendly fire for me. Uh, yeah, you come over here. How are you doing? That's three Cretan archers there. Not worried about that. Let's come and run all these guys down. I want this army to be wiped out. Trouble is, we're, it's going to take us a turn, too, to uh, deal with that rebellion that we have. Good. Whew. I haven't looked at the replay yet, uh, Ebloxy. I will soon, though. I saw you gave it to Pope, though, so if, it, if Pope uploads it, then I probably won't. Because uh, I try to do original content. I don't like when YouTubers upload the same content all the time. That's one there. It's two there. Yeah, we need to get these guys, though. Guys, oh, over here. Over here. Hey, Liam. Thanks for watching, buddy. Love making content on YouTube. Yeah, it is fun. Uh, just don't burn yourself out, right? Make sure to pace yourself on it. Decisive victory. Destroyed the rebels. We're going back to take what is ours. 551 loss, which is unfortunate. Might have lost this archer here. Oh, it's fine, Ebloxy. Like, you're free to share replays with whoever. It's just if he uploads it, then I probably won't. That's all. But yeah, I kind of... I kind of, uh, Yeah, I did lose it. Kind of on the policy where, like, I'll... I'll get to it when I get to it, you know what I mean? Like, I, I do work quite a bit, so... Can I reach that? Oh, I can, actually. Let's move over here. 
Can I still reach it? Yes, I can. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to auto-resolve this. May lose... Oh, I didn't lose anyone. Nice. 2% replenish. Good. Uh, let's see. Integrity. Amateur success chance. Oh, yeah, extra campaign boom range for sure. And I'll just grab that as well. Why not? So I don't know why he's taking attrition. It's kind of strange. Uh, what's over here, too? I could probably win that. Just to make sure that they're gone. 33 and 20. I don't have enough money to get the Tarantine Cavalry. But they are happy here, which is good. Uh, let's get the land grants. And the roads with that maintenance cost, I'm going to get rid of that because we can't, just can't afford to have it right now. At your command. Okay. I know I'm on the verge of bankruptcy. I know. Yeah, like it's it's not a big deal. Like I'm not I'm not mad or anything. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, so hopefully they don't have time to recover. Hopefully I'm not on the verge of bankruptcy next turn. And hopefully I can reach Nicomedia next turn and take it back. That's what I'm hoping. It's just a huge risk because for me, if I have an army sitting there and then they siege me and I can't actually fight that on the battlefield, I could lose my entire army. So I might want to actually stand outside of, of these uh, settlements to maybe try and avoid that. Celtic, put your big stack in your city. It will cancel your debt. Oh, oh, is that what it is? Can I reach that in one turn? No, but I might be able next turn. Commander. Get the stakes up. Okay. What do I need here? An Agora could be good. Wealth from Culture and Entertainment. Does cost a lot of food, but we'll be combating that with the farms. Uh, we probably also want to put in a temple to maybe get our culture up. So we could go for the Sacred Enclosure. will cost us a bit of money, but we should gain some money from that as well. Ready for battle. The only problem is, is that I'm giving Pergamon time to build up here. I'm going to assign skill. Who is this? Uh, governor? Sanitation? Building construction? Native discontent would be good. And growth. That does help with the public order issue. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to play Byzantine campaign? All right. Ah, so maybe I should have dealt with... Uh, I should have dealt with Macadon right away instead of ignoring them like that. I didn't expect they would have three armies or, or so, so...
Uh, you probably just have to build better barracks, that's all. Peace treaty with them. Get out of here. I need that territory back. Faction destroyed. Okay, so Macedon is definitely causing some trouble. Pay him off. Are we replenishing now? We are. Okay. I'm still negative, though. Could disband this guy, because he's 600 now. So that will save us some funds. Probably allow us to get a couple other units in here. Can I reach that? Where's my spy, actually? Didn't I have a spy? Oh, he's too far. Oh, no, actually. I'll be able to see exactly what's going on. Grand Champ, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I've been playing 12, 12, AD, Attila mod. I really like it. Me too, man. Such a good mod. Okay, uh, where's their... Okay, so they have a pretty large force there. Pergamon has come all the way back to rebuild, so let's... Let's move to here. Ready for battle. Waiting for orders. Uh, I should never have got rid of that. It's unfortunate that I did. I can't attack it by boat. Yeah, I can't attack it right away either. Have to siege it. I have no choice. And you know what? I'm going to cancel that. Oh, gosh. I'm going to go negative. Okay, let's get extra farms then. Because I'm going to lose the money anyway. Take that. They shouldn't be able to counter. Hopefully, Macadon comes in here for a land battle or something. I should be able to break them. And then move back to Sisychus across to Byzantium. Oh, this is sweaty. Winter made it negative. The effect on farming come and commerce. Okay, okay. I'm just <laughs> holding myself on by the skin of my teeth here. Uh, could have done that, I guess, to get money, but they'll just go to war with someone. Okay, yes, they retreated. They've got rebels, so the rebels could possibly take that. And I should be able to destroy these guys, and then we'll be back where we started. But I'll have to stand outside the city, probably, is the only problem, because uh, if they come in, I'll just get stack wiped, wouldn't I? Oh, they're sallying out, are they? I don't want to. I don't want to take too many casualties with this, so I don't want to auto resolve it. I think I could uh, take minimal casualties with this, and that's on their turn too. So I should be able to, if I wipe them out completely, I should be able to take it, and then I might be able to move on next turn. So that might have bought me a turn if that's the way it works. I I shouldn't siege it if I wipe them out completely. So okay. Oh, my poor infantry is starting to get really knackered looking. Down to four archers. I do have these javelins. So I'll put them here. I miss my spearmen. Uh, this general will have back here. They don't have any cavalry shoots, so we should be able to just stomp them into the dust. Do have a couple units of Cretan archers, but uh, we have four to there too, so. And we have the very weak general coming in as well.
Oh, they actually have three archers. Okay. Well, we should be doing more damage to them. They have the Royal Ajima swords uh, back here. That general's still over there, too. Let's see if we can break these guys with a good charge. Might just be able to. Yep, shattered them. Nice. Actually, don't go too close. Can let them come back. Don't soak up the Pila. They're down to seven. Okay, turn around and charge them. Yeah, I gotta stay away from that Pila. Gosh, it's really doing a lot of damage. But we're destroying them with our archers. Just uh, completely obliterating them. Good, they've broken. Holy moly. Okay, now let's push them in. Archers, stop firing. You can take out that singular unit there. Uh, it's a little bit laggy, but I forgot that it did crash. Uh, that's why I have to redo the task manager here. Makes it a little bit less framey. What do we got here? One of them remaining. Yeah, just surround them. Let's disengage my cav now. Disengage this one here. Can come and kill this guy. Not let any escape, boys. Make sure to completely annihilate them. Uh, just give me one second, too. My wife is calling me. All right, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> There's a lot going on tonight for some reason. But good, good, good. Able to hold on there. Is that a dollar flying emoji there? <laughs> Was that like you super chatting me or something? <laughs> Thanks. Good. Wipe out every last one of them. Yes. So that should be them completely destroyed. Yes, zero remaining. So there's no way that they survived that. May have lost this cavalry here. Might have lost my javelins. General is getting down there as well. Eat some more tea here. Ah, uh, good. So hopefully, since we can take that this turn, we should be able to push across and uh, take our other territory back as well. 
And 6% replenishment for occupying. Yes, that did work. Noble birth, and we are positive on funds. And everything has been destroyed, but most things are still here. Let's go ahead and can we get any more mercenaries? No, we cannot. Can we recruit any units? No, we cannot. Okay, what do they have? A 10 stack. 11. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80. Oh, that's, that would be really tough to do. Really tough to win against that. You gotta go? No problem, man. Thanks for tuning in, Garrett. We are finally replenishing. I just don't want him to recruit any more units is the thing. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 21. How much cab do they have? As you command. Got 4, 5 cav. Six with that general. Seven. We hunger for hmm. battle. Let's go ahead with that sacred enclosure there now at Ansira. Um, hmm. Minus six upkeep key cost for land units when in foreign territory. Oh, that's good. I would like to push in now. I just don't know if it's a good idea. Advance. Yeah, even if I'm outside of the city, I... I take attrition, so let's just do it. Let's just try and get. I don't want him to hire any more troops, so I'll get that. Continue siege. We are going to lose some money. It is unfortunate, but hopefully, repairing all of those for the next turn, we should be fine. And in one more turn, we're getting this as well, which will give us plus four income from agriculture, which is very nice. Good, good. I know. Whew. Maybe after we destroy these guys, uh, we might end the stream. <laughs> I don't know how strong Macedon is. We'll see if we can build some mercenaries and sail on over, but... Uh, yes. Oh, maybe I lost all my trade agreements, too, because I lost those two cities. That's probably why my income tanked. Right. Oh, I should I should have checked that on my turn. Yes, everybody's wanting trade now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And maybe I will take non-aggression with uh, this faction here as well and trade if they ask. Have we passed uh, Macadon's turn yet? I humbly ask that you at least consider a formal treaty. Um, I guess we could. Because I need money right now, really badly. It's all the money they have. Go on. I just need cash. <laughs> I'll need a little fix. UMC sent you to play that map. Uh, yeah, I was hoping that they will just sally out. And we could do the same thing, right? If they sally out, I, sh I shouldn't have to worry about it. Which I think they will, because they, they have even better odds this time than they did last time. So I'm assuming that they'll just come out into the field, and then we'll just try and destroy them like we did before. Uh, yes, actually, uh, but I want some money for that. Yes, good, they're coming out. Oh, and that other general didn't come in either, so that's good. Yep, yep, they're they're sallying out. 
That third general isn't coming in as uh, I had hoped he would, so we might not be able to get this on this turn and be able to replenish, but we'll find out. <laughs> I'm stretched so thin right now, though. So thin. Okay. So they're going to have reinforcements coming in, so they're probably going to be sitting back. Archers right in the midst there. Uh, javelins. Keep you here. Good thing is I do have a lot of cavalry, so. There they are. I'm actually going to move forwards, close the distance on them. That way, the reinforcements that are coming in, they're going to take a while to come in. So I've got two cab to deal with that cab on that side. Or no, I've got my two cab over on this side, actually. Uh, what are you guys doing? What kind of formation is this? Get behind the uh, main units, please. Ah, they are pulling back. Ah, that's so annoying. Just walk. What's the man count? It's 2,000 to 3,200. <sighs> Good rebound so far. I'm, I'm hoping we can we can destroy them here. Then I'll, I'll feel pretty comfortable. Uh, we'll let Galatia live for for a while longer. Uh, I think my biggest downfall was, was underestimating Makedon. I didn't expect them to somehow be able to field two and a half armies like they did. Uh, so I, I should have been probably more prepared for that, if I'm honest. These guys are hidden. Okay, uh, they are coming into range here. Will I be able to get into range uh, or into my position before they show up? I think just... Can you fire at them, please? Yeah, just make sure you kind of screen them off. And I want to kill this cav here, too, if possible. Let's bring this cavalry a little wider on the flanks as well. Let's find them charging in. I don't care. Oh, they didn't actually. They, like, feigned to charge and then retreated. Yeah, focus. Is that their elites? Oh, uh, no, it's just uh, the Rakui. Nice. So we should be able to break this cavalry fairly quickly. Stop firing on my general, please. They are using javelins to full effect. Oh, that's annoying. They got the charge off, and I didn't even notice that. Oh, boy. That's not good. Okay, you guys get in there to help. You guys start pushing in. Archers need to lend a hand here. Need to break over here because oh my general's gonna die. No, I need him out of there. General, please don't die. Please don't die. That will seal the fate of this battle. Please don't die. Please. No. No. Shoot. Oh, my gosh. That, that is bad. Seriously, that's... Those stupid spears are so good. Get over here immediately. Quick. 
Is this cab dying? Not really. Not fast enough. Still have the Royal Ajima to deal with here. You hit them in the flanks. You start slamming into their sides. Oh my gosh, that is so bad. Really, really bad there. Good, that one's broken. Okay, hit this one next. Uh, archers, all archers just get over here. In fact, focus this cav here for me. I, uh, I'm going to lose my momentum here, though. I need to get this one over here to help out. Yeah, okay. You come over here, ignore the spears. You're engaged in melee where you are. They're breaking. Yes, okay, they broke in. Yeah, you keep driving them back and out of the way. They do have their general here, which is unfortunate. Let's actually charge the backs of these swords now that they've kind of pushed away. In fact, one of them, I think, broke for some reason. Let's bring another sword unit over this way. How are we doing here? Not so good. You three move up a little bit. That was a good charge. Turn around. Hit these guys. Push them away even further. Okay, then now that they've moved off, break them. Okay, you're going to have to sacrifice some cab there and start volleying. Come on. Oh, this cab breaking is bad news over here. Escalation Cavalry against my Militia Cavalry is just not doing well. Yes, all of you collapse onto that unit there. Do you still have the General to deal with, which is a uh, worry? Because he's now going to engage us. get around though good they've all broken oh you ball sack no good slam into the backs of those archers try and save my Galatian cavalry they're gonna counter charge and that's kind of all I can do there really I can try and get this cavalry unit out in time I don't know if that's gonna happen though let's get these archers up here they would surely be useful how are these mercenary thrakite or whatever they're called holding so long yeah go after that general he's really weak take him out and then we'll counter charge there Archers get in range, volley them. This cavalry, once it breaks, this is the Royal Ajima, so that's why they're so stalwart in their defense here. Come on, a general for a general. He needs to die, he needs to die. Yes, come on, or at least break. Maybe my general didn't die, because theirs can't die. You can't kill them on the battlefield, so. It's 10v31. Volley them in the backs there. Those two spears are coming back. Why do I hear cavalry behind me? Oh, dear. That's not ideal. Oh, my gosh. Please don't break me. Good. That should really pull them down. Nine Ajima there. Could try and ignore them and just break them here. Yes. Yes, that cavalry's gone. Beautiful. Okay, come after these spears. They're being destroyed. Keep volleying them. He is going down. They are still holding. Those spears. Oh my gosh. Yes. Hit them in the back. Those spears are broken. Citizen spears charge in. 16 remaining. 
Yes. Yes, we have it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh, boy. Oh, man. That was close. That was sincerely close. Uh, you come over here because I need you to run these two down. Oh, my goodness. That was intense. Finish running down those 17 there. You guys can just volley this guy. And then volley them. Two left there. That shouldn't be much of a garrison remaining there. That's down to one. Yeah, you come over here. So all of these are escaping, which is unfortunate, but they look quite weak. Ah, uh, these guys are going to escape. 23. All right. Close victory. My goodness. And we're just about back where we <laughs> where we started. A general, I think, did survive, though. 692 with that cavalry. This cavalry has been MVPs, so whoever told me to hire it, good choice. Thank you for telling me. And these guys held their own as well. They did really well. Unfortunately, I think I lost my mercenary Cretan archers. But hopefully once we recapture this settlement... Yeah, so we didn't defeat them all the way. Which is unfortunate, so that means I'm probably going to have to auto-resolve them. That is completely wiped out, but they survived. Let's take the 7% replenish. We actually only lost the javelin, so that's not too bad. But once we're going to have to auto-resolve this, uh, which does mean we'll probably lose a few more units. I'll go balanced. Get wrecked, Pergamon. Okay, lost the Militia Cav. That is not too bad. And we will take that back. Commander. Oh, man. And we can recruit. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's just get that then. Oh, man. <laughs> let's repair all of this here. And uh, we were building something here, but I don't remember what it is. And we need to kind of hold, hold for now. Okay, so what can we get here? Extra charge for the bodyguard. Is that for ships only, though? It might be. Let's get that as well. How may I serve you? Okay, you head over here. I wonder if they can reach in. Oh, they definitely could reach. Uh, let's see here. Two percent tax rate. At your command. Uh, we should have a garrison here relatively soon. And I do have access to some mercenaries again, which is good. So I could get these guys again, but they're just so expensive. In fact, I'm going to merge these guys because that will give us a lot more money to deal with. And I'm going to disband... No, I'll keep that for now until I know what Macedon is doing. I'm hoping that I can just get peace with them, though. Greetings in the name of Hermes. Speak, but do not deceive with tricky rhetoric, false logic, or cloying cake. No, okay, we don't have any money, so... Oh, I need to check and make sure if I can uh, re-get all of my trade agreements here. Greetings, friend. Greetings. Will you have wine? Fine olives? Or a green... Uh, let's see if we can get some money out of them. Would you kindly allow... What? Fly. Go away. Oh, Phil's back, everyone. Uh, I won't be able to get trade again with them, probably. Uh, yeah, because that all broke. 
Um, Ptolemy. We still have non-aggression with him. Does he want trade? No. Okay, well, we should be up to, yeah, 3,500. So that's not bad. Oh, it was the marble we were putting in, wasn't it? But maybe we should put something in for public order. Public order plus one. Tax harvest station is plus six. Can get plus four. If there's any devs still in the chat. Oh yeah, you told me Galatians are worth the money. Thanks, Will. I appreciate it. What what do you guys find in your experiences good for managing public order? Like going sacred enclosure? Surely there's one of these that offers a lot of public order, I'm assuming. It offers sanitation income from agriculture, so that's not bad. Sacred Grove. Or it might be something we haven't even researched yet. There we go, sanitation. That's really good to get, actually. Extra public order and growth. Is there any way that I can sneak 200 out of anyone? No. Okay, well, let's hope that Macedon doesn't come back here with these armies. In fact, we probably could auto-resolve them, though. And they're looking pretty weak, so we might actually just throw all our money together and quickly run over there and destroy them. Uh, provincial governor in Asia. Sanitarian. State influence in the region. That's very good. Let's put him in. And uh, we should probably have it on... Something that just helps with public order. <laughs> Sanitation. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. So getting those public baths in there would probably be a really good idea. Um, uh, what about 1,800? 1,500 or nothing, buddy. Yeah, all right. Cool. Oh, yes. Okay, they defeated them even further. Nice. Okay. We might be able to uh, attack uh, Makedon. They're looking to be in kind of a terrible situation at the moment. Down, McDown, 0001. Arena for public order or theater. Okay, perfect. Thank you. The sanatorium will be good because it kind of does both. It gives the public order and the sanitation, but if I need any extra, I'll definitely uh, think about that. Okay, so they moved back on land. They're actually headed south. So they're kind of leaving this pretty undefended, but that garrison with all those pikemen are what I'm most worried about. Uh, that garrison is very, very tough. And if they came up against me, like even in the open field, I don't know if my units could do much against those pikes. Get out of here. Defensive alliance. Okay, we're making money again. <laughs> Disaster averted. Uh, although, I need to make sure... Because we are... We are getting issues with public order. Let's change that to public order as well. Uh, allies to the king. Uh, whatever gives us less native discontent is what I kind of want. Go away, fly. So if I build that, and same with this. 
Allies to the king. Land grants. We could get the farms, but hold on. I need to see what I can build here. So we're back up to five archers, which is good. Uh, I want these four spears back. These were really good. They did a lot of damage. Although I can only get a few per turn. So that's fine. We can spend the rest of our money, I suppose. Although I can't afford to get anything anymore. That's fine. So we're happy. We're happy over here. So yeah, the we need the 1600 for that. And we'll put that in at Sisychus. Uh, yeah, actually, those spears might be a good counter to the pikemen because of those javelins that they have available to them to throw. Could do quite well, actually, if they come out in the field against us. But we're going to need a full solid 20 stack to be able to, to do that. I should see if the Aetolian League will join the war because I don't know if they're actually at war with, with Macedon or not. hope that they're not able to build up any more than that. Glory. Fly, <laughs> please. Oh, my gosh. All of these will be ours when we are united as friends. Uh... Ah, <laughs> it was worth a shot. Noble birth. Nice. I didn't even check, actually, how things are going. Can you... Marry him, please. Uh, oh. She's deceased. Okay. We got some that are... Okay, this is a general, so he should actually go into here. And where's my governors? I've got two governors, right? Income and construction cost. He's got low loyalty, actually. So I'll just adopt him. Then we don't have to worry about his loyalty, I don't think. Uh, let's get two more spears. Although it's winter, so it's going to take two turns for that. But we might as well keep going with it. Uh, let's get that sanatorium in to keep things happy. And probably same thing over here, actually. I'm going to cancel this so that I can put in... Yeah, the theater is here, which is good. It costs a lot of food, though. Uh, sanatorium is here. Underground sewers. It's a lot of maintenance cost. A lot of maintenance cost, but it's probably worth it. At your command. And... Uh, do we have a garrison here? Okay, we're building up a garrison there, and we've got a garrison there too. So if there is a rebellion, they shouldn't go be able to go in right away and take that. Okay, so it looks like uh, they're going after... Macedon. Are they at war with them? They are. Excellent. And they're at war with uh, Ptolemaic Egypt, it looks like. Yes. The Achaeans are not, though. The blessing of the Olympians upon you. What oh, they're a tribute state of them. Ah, okay. Okay, that's fine. Well, they like me, so at least they won't get involved in the in the war. Willy Wazzy, weird question. Have I ever played with Pixelated Apollo before? I have not. I have not, good sir.
I hope that they go in there and start sieging or something, because I will definitely come in and help. I don't even care if uh, they actually capture it. Uh, they can have it, as long as Macedon is removed from my borders. Okay, they've withdrawn their armies a bit. Hey, thanks for the 200 gold. <laughs> Sucker. Okay, so we do have a rebellion. We've got a... Oh, no. Infant mortality. Rough. Got some historical events here. Office secured for him. And we did not adopt him, I guess. Because why? Uh, you. How about you try and adopt him? Oh, uh, oh, it was the bastard child. Oh. Okay, where is the rebellion? Where did the rebellion spawn? I don't see a rebellion. Unless it spawned over in their territory? Uh, we probably want extra food here. Or do we? Orders. At your service. Unless it was cancelled out? or I am eager to serve. Okay, they're building up and looking pretty terrifying. So that is a problem. Aha! Aha! All right, if we can peace out with them, that's perfect. Because they're... I don't think they'll declare war on me again. Because they're going to have a lot of other issues to deal with. <sighs> no, Ebloxy, it's totally fine. Like, don't <laughs> don't worry about it. It's, it's all good. Uh, I, I will try and get your replay out this week. Uh, if not, then it will be next week. But if I see him uploaded in the meantime, then I won't upload. It's all good. Some rebellions aren't implemented yet, so they occasionally don't pop up. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. Willie, I feel you deserve more subscribers because you're very good at Total War and also very mature and enjoyable to watch. Oh, well, thanks very much, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, do you guys think that I should peace out with Macadon or push and destroy them? I'm just worried about the uh, strength over here that I'm starting to see uh, the Galatians uh, arising with. So if I sail over here and, and try and take them out, uh, I'm kind of out of it for the moment. Uh, so I don't know if you guys think that that's a good idea for me to peace out with them. Do you think they'll backstab me and declare war on me? Because I think they will accept this. They they will accept a... Because they, they've just gotten destroyed. You can see their armies are way down. I'm a 43 a three strength rank and they're a 70 strength rank. So, what do you guys reckon? Because my army would probably be ready in two turns, so. I could sail on over there. I'm just, I don't know if I can challenge all those pikemen in the field is the only problem. Peace? Alright. Uh, let's try and grab 1,200 out of them. Nice. And then can we squeeze that out? Of okay, no. Good. Okay, so now now uh, we're relatively safe over here. Uh, so we can maybe build up our... our uh... Oh, see, because I lost all that money building up that capital. But it looks like everybody is relatively happy. So we're in one more turn, we're getting them. Can I double that up? No. Will I have access to uh, these? I have access to one more of them. And 
And I've got access to two more Galatian Warband if I wanted to, but I'm pretty comfortable with what I have at the moment. I think I might want to get rid of them, though. I mean, they're not super expensive, so I guess they're fine. Unassigned skill for the governor, so... Uh, income from agriculture, growth in public order, yes. Let's double that up, so that's up to positive five now. Yes, things are starting to look up. Good, good, good. We've got 190 food here as well. That is crazy. Ready for battle. My dog is whining to go out too, so we're probably going to have to finish the stream very shortly here. Uh, we'll see what the next couple of turns uh, hold. Peace will do. Yeah, everybody said peace. Good. Peace sounds ideal, but I'm sure they'll backstab you as well. That is fine, but as long as other factions keep them busy for the moment, so that I can at least run over and destroy the Galatians again, uh, then we should be fine. And building, building up my uh, settlements a little bit stronger, uh, and also not worrying about rebellion spawning when I when I leave, and I've got solid. Oh gosh! Okay, here they come. Uh, absolutely not. Yeah, so we're gonna have to come over it. Where do they get two full stacks from? Holy moly! Wow! 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 May happen, but maybe we could try to have a better relation, uh, like trade. Yeah. No, they want Macadon got four wars already going. That's what I thought. Yeah, they'd kind of be busy. As a major faction, they get buffs. Okay, okay. Ascent to the throne. Excellent. Characters marry. Into the fold. So hopefully his loyalty will be better. Balance of power is better as well. So yeah, we don't have to worry about his loyalty. Let's get him to seek a wife. And can you, sir, he doesn't have enough influence, but if we can adopt, oh no, we can't, okay, that's fine. Okay, uh, let's see here. I'd like to run up here, but I don't have my cavalry yet. Because I wanted to get my two units of other other cavalry. We've got fields there, so let's keep building those fields up. So actually, you know what? Let's let's get a trading port here for extra income, because we have double fields. And I can't get them yet. And I have no access to those mercenaries' balls. But I should have a garrison here, which I will be able to draw out. Uh, how much cavalry? Oh my goodness! Spear spam much? I am a Holy moly! They do have three units of cav. I don't have access to any cavalry. Okay. At least now we don't have an enemy to our back. That's the important thing. Thank you so much to everyone who's uh, tuned in and stuck around. This is a good amount of... What? What are you guys doing? So they're just giving me this army, it looks like. And then I can turn around and hit that one, I think. Huh. I'm hoping we can declare war on them without having any negative modifiers, though. Because I don't think it's been ten turns since I declared war on them. But them being very aggressive like this, it's kind of an act of war. At least a little bit. And our Imperium went up. Nice. A worthy bride? Um, 
yeah, she's good enough, I guess. Okay, let me check here. If I declare war on them. One turn remaining. Oh. Fine, then what I'm going to do is come back to here. I know it's foolish, but I don't want uh, that reliability rating to go down. And for us to have issues. Over here, you can get your two other units of cavalry that I wanted. And let's get an extra two tax rate with that money there. And do one more end turn. I'm not going to finish the conquest of uh, Galatia in this stream. We'll be uh, doing that next stream. Uh, but no, I won't be joining the war against Macadon. You guys can deal with that yourself. Can they burn wooden walls in Medieval 2? Uh, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I think they can? If I'm not mistaken? Only affect gates and arrow towers. Also, if, uh, Will, if you're still here, uh, we're, the file that UM Centurion sent me, uh, is it still possible, uh, for me to use this file and it will fix this current campaign, or is it only, uh, other campaigns? Pikeman can unlock pikes in the tech. Oh, can it? Oh, crap. Okay, so they've gone to war. And they have three full stacks. You have to be kidding me. Holy moly. So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be fun for us to deal with. Pergamon can unlock pikes in the tech. Okay, so that's how you unlock them then. Interesting. I, I figured that we might not get them because we have access to more uh, Germanic and uh Eastern units, but it will. Okay, thanks you, I'm Centurion. Should be usable in this campaign. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, so military investments where they they are sieging us here. And their other army went into ambush, I think. Uh, can I discover where that other army went? Where the heck did that go? Oh, if I force march, I can't even get into range. That's unfortunate. Ah, there you are. All right, so let's quick save here. And this is where we're going to end the stream for today because it's been three hours on the dot. And we will... Secure the conquest of Galatia in the next episode. It's just a formality, basically. Um, I sh I want to actually end it here as well, because it, with them sieging that other settlement and Syra, I want to be able to try and fix the, uh, the map so that if they do attack, we can actually try and defend that. Uh, but like I said, it's just a formality. We can steamroll through these armies with the uh, cavalry that we have. Uh, we're back up to full strength. We don't have an enemy at our backs, uh, and we should do just fine. Uh, Germanic units, you say. They're uh, Celtic. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But that is everything. So thanks so much to everyone who tuned in. I really appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to this. Uh, I should be streaming it uh, next weekend as well. I'll see if I want to slot in uh, a Bactrian uh, Rome 2 uh, stream. Or if I just want to uh, move on to some more ancient empires. But I'll let you guys know in the future. Also, just make sure to turn your volume down now as I transition to the ending screen so that it doesn't destroy your ears. Uh, will, thank you for a wonderful love video. And I will see what happens next. Awesome, Willy Wazzy. Thanks so much for tuning in, dude. I appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around, 2E Bloxy. Much appreciated. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.